In this video, you'll see a John Deere 400 garden tractor hard at work during a Canadian winter. The John Deere 400 garden tractor was manufactured from 1975 to 1983. Ours is a 1980 model, making it 42 years old. From the factory, the 400 came with a 19.9 horsepower Kohler 879cc two-cylinder air-cooled four-stroke engine. Our Kohler engine was later replaced with a Honda GX620. The Honda produces 20 horsepower, is 614 cc's in size, and is a V-twin air-cooled four-stroke gasoline engine. We are very impressed with this engine, and it is very well suited to the John Deere 400. The transmission is shaft-driven hydrostatic. Our tractor cab is an all-steel cozy cab with removable doors and windows and still accommodates outside refueling. No gas in the cab. Our snow thrower attachment is a 45 inch Cub Cadet model 364. The 400's front PTO runs the auger. Both the raising and lowering of the auger as well as the positioning of the chute left to right are also handled with hydraulics from within the cab. The hydraulic positioning of the chute was a bit of a Frankenstein design. This happened after the blower was purchased. The Cub Cadet Model 364 had a manually operated chute control. The 400 is a two-wheel drive tractor with a front independent PTO. The tractor weighs almost a thousand pounds and that is without the tractor cab, the snow blower, the Honda generator, tire weights, chains and accessories. I'm just guessing, but we're probably closer to 2,000 pounds all in. The generator is a Honda EU2000i. I installed the generator two years ago as I wanted real heat within the cabin. See below for a link to the cabin heat for John Deere 400 video. The generator powers a no-name in-car heater, producing somewhere between 1,200 and 1,500 watts. This was an amazing addition to the tractor. Minus 15 Celsius outside, plus 5 in the cab. Absolutely awesome. Again, if you want to see how I made that modification, see the link below. Now here's some more video of the tractor in action. Cheers.